with your college, grade two, English grammar, cardinal and ordinal numbers. Hello, my lovely girls and boys. For today's grammar lesson, we are going to learn about cardinal and ordinal numbers. The correct use of cardinal and ordinal numbers are very important to improve our language skill. Let's begin. Cardinal numbers are used to count a set of objects and tell us about quantity. We use cardinal numbers when we are counting. Cardinal numbers are the ordinary numbers that we already know, such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They are cardinal numbers. And if you want to use cardinal numbers in a sentence, we can describe there are five cupcakes. There are five cupcakes. We can describe the quantity of cupcakes by using cardinal numbers. An ordinal number is a number that tells the position or rank in a list, such as first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. For example, my sister won the first place from the essay competition. Date are another example of ordinal numbers as they tell us when something happened. Now look at this table of cardinal and ordinal numbers and see, try to find the differences. Cardinal number 1 we write as an ordinal number first. Number 2 second and number three we write as an ordinal number third number four fourth number five fifth six sixth and seven seventh eight eight and the cardinal number nine we write as an ordinal number Ninth, ten, tenth. Did you realize that most of the ordinal numbers end with th except for first, second, and third? Let's learn more about on how to use cardinal and ordinal numbers. Now look at these pictures. These children have won from a singing competition. Tehan. Tehan has won the first place of the singing competition. And what's Yenul's place? Can you guess what's Yenul's place? Yes. Yenul has won the second place of the singing competition. What is the place Sarah has won? Yes, Sarah has won the third place of the singing competition. Let's fill this blank with more suitable cardinal or ordinal number. First one, Tasha is the blank in the class of this term. Tasha is the first in the class of this term. Today is blank of February 2021. Today is 18th of February 2021. And the third one, it is the blank day of the carnival. It is the second day of the carnival. There are blank badges. There are 
three badgers. Well done. When you read storybooks, you will find many cardinal and ordinal numbers that have been used to describe different occasions and descriptions. I hope you enjoyed learning about cardinal and ordinal numbers. Thank you and stay safe children.